welcome back to another video traders and for those that are new to the channel welcome to charting trends for trading options my name is TJ I'm your host and today we're gonna to be looking at buy on tech BNTX let's get into it real quick before we get into the chart a couple of things the first one announced just this morning on the news uh, Pfizer and BioNTech seeking approval from European Commission so they had a great phase three trial uh, reporting 95 eff percent uh, efficiency rate for their vaccine and no safety concerns so they're now applying for that final approval that's good news that was announced as well this article um, it it essentially Bank of America came out I guess on the 30th saying <clears throat> they're gonna downgrade buy on tech so this is bad news uh, they issued a new price target at 126 I am not sure what the old one is but they mentioned that that is a downgrade um, essentially saying that you know buy on tech has already rallied almost 300 percent this year and they haven't posted any revenue so vaccine profits are already priced in so that's a little bit of bad news from Bank of America they gave it a 126 price target though so it's not too bad let's look at the chart uh, just real quick I want to show you guys <clears throat> the one year chart because BioNTech has only been publicly listed for about a year or so when uh, they got on the market last October they're around $20 and they've been in this growth channel ever since then. Here was the dip of the pandemic. The vaccine announcement shot them all the way up here to 104. And they kind of spent most of the year throughout the summer and into the fall um, consolidating into the growth channel, jumping up, pulling back. And now, finally, recently, we've broken above that previous all-time high. Shot out to about 112, 113 another pullback into the growth channel it's a, it's a volatile name you know this is sort of speculative uh, investing uh, and then just today we shot up after hours last night and this morning to 128 and most of the day it's it's been in a bit of a pullback I'm recording this during market hours I hope that doesn't throw you guys off but we're around 111 right now um, so obviously they have a vaccine play they're partnered with Pfizer I like that about this play. Um, the ones that are attached to more historically consistent established companies such as Pfizer BioNTech, Johnson & Johnson, obviously that's an established company. They've been around for over 100 years. And AstraZeneca, they've been around for a long time. They're partnered with Oxford. Those are, I feel, the three strongest ones because they don't rely solely on the vaccine. They do a lot of other things and they have a great reputation. Um, but as far as the chart here, so we have this great growth channel. We have this huge run up now only recently breaking above uh, previous highs and establishing support up here. It's super bullish. Uh, you know, you can't argue with that. But how much of this is already priced in? Let's look at BioNTech's revenue this year real quick. And this is their this is their first year on the market. Um, you know, there was what we're seeing here. <clears throat> Did they not report earnings there? Okay. So uh, the first earnings reporting in May, it was negative. You know, again, in July, <coughs> sorry, August, they're even worse. And now the most recent one, they're, they're down to negative 104 per share. You know, obviously, these are not good revenue numbers. They're negative, and the, the loss is growing. So when you see huge value created without revenue you know future revenue or the assumption of future revenue is being priced in right so they haven't made any money off the vaccine yet but they're they're already sort of counting the chickens before they hatch so how much more is this going to go up when the vaccine comes out who knows it's tough to say but certainly a lot of that revenue is already priced in um, and with that in mind you gotta you gotta realize they're not the only one developing a vaccine there's 10 other companies out there um, you know five of them are, are at least doing very well so this is, this is a highly competitive product and they already have a lot of that revenue priced in I I don't like the upside here in the short term um, certainly looking at the chart you've got to be bullish 
you know, <clears throat> I would look if you want to be long on this thing for it to come back into this, this support here, um, that support around 105. And let's see if <clears throat> from where we are now, that's going to be a drop of about 6%. Um, if we were to go back up to the high we just established, that'd be a 14% gainer. Um, <clears throat> honestly, the stock is so volatile. I don't even want to guess at the probabilities for that. You know, it's <laughs> with the volatility we've seen, I'd say it's probably 50, 50. Um, but I'd say for investors, you need to keep in mind that a lot of this revenue is priced in and certainly adjust your risk tolerance accordingly. But that's BNTX, guys. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. I read all the comments, so I'll definitely get back to you. And if you want to see more videos like this one and other technical analysis, please subscribe. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.